Hey guys, uh, another video for you here. Um, most of mine have been of roaches lately, but I wanted to show you something that I've been collecting over the last, you know, two years or so. And this is the, it's hard to see from this angle, but this is a Northern Black Widow. It's a Latrodectus variolus. And um, it's feeding time. She has a couple egg sacs down there. It looks like they're getting ready to hatch out. So she's down there protecting them currently. And this is actually just a you know, two pound deli container. Um, simple, just a couple pin holes through it, a couple sticks, and you're pretty much set with spiders. I mean, you know, keep a little bit of hydration in there once in a while. Uh, mist it. That way, if they're juveniles, they can still molt out. And if they're not, if they're already adults, then just uh, give them a little bit of water here and there to drink. But most part, they get the uh, fluids from the animals they eat. Um, right now, I'm just using what is, I guess, the Asian field cricket here. Uh, it's got these from the pet store today because my uh, dubia roaches that I normally feed from have uh, kind of taken a downturn. So I'm letting uh, them get their numbers back up, so I'm feeding crickets right now. So let's see what happens when I sink this down through the webbing here and see if she comes out. There you go. You can see pretty much immediately she starts putting webbing onto it. And if I let go, tries to get away a little bit, see if she uh, comes up to it or not. Doesn't look like it, so let me push it back down there a little bit again. A lot of webbing here, so it's a little hard to get down there. And she was putting her legs up to it, but this cricket's being a little stubborn. It's hard to do this with your holding a camera in your hand. Let's try this again. There we go. Now she's just throwing the really, really sticky webbing on there right now, and that's just to kind of hold the cricket in place. So I can let go, and she'll walk over to it. And if we look at it from the side, which is kind of hard to see actually, yeah, I'm not going to get a good focus on that. So we'll go back to the top. If she's hungry right away, she'll turn around and she'll bite that and let it go. If she was just being defensive because of the eggs there, she'll just let it go and maybe eventually she'll feed on it. But she didn't seem that interested right now, which is kind of weird because she hasn't eaten for a couple weeks. But Let's see, I'm going to put the lid back on this one, let her go, and we're going to come up here to one of my other ones, which is actually laying an egg case right now. Let's see if I can turn that light off a second. This one is, uh, actually this is the third one it's laid this week, one, two, and it was working on that one, I think I might have given up. Given up on those, I'm not really sure, but around the other side, I have this one here, and this one I had just fed, and it grabbed that cricket and basically just stuck it up to the roof of the container here. And sorry, I'm trying to block the light so it's easier to see, but she just kind of bit it a few times and webbed it up, and now she's just kind of hanging out, I guess, waiting for it to die, and for it to kind of congeal a little bit. But See the the racks over here, which are most of my invertebrates. Back down to this one, see if she's moved at all. Still looks like she's just hanging out in the corner there. So, anyway. Um, normally they're a little more voracious than that, so that was a little disappointing, I guess, for you guys, but I uh, just wanted to show you uh, that I do have a few of the northern black widows here and uh they are fun to have they're good spiders to kind of watch and uh yeah if you can get them to breed that's excellent but most of mine are wild caught uh, like i said i'm an exterminator so i find them on my jobs occasionally and i actually just pick them up and put them in a little glass vial that i carry actually in this box right back here these two these are uh, perfume vials uh they're two dram vials and uh I just put them in here. Now there's no air holes, so I have to open these back up once in a while. Uh, you know, when I'm collecting samples, that way they don't, you know, die on me. But these are really handy. Uh, they're 
a box of, I think, 120 or 140 or something like that of those little glass files is like 20 bucks. Um, I get them from, uh, it, I get them off of eBay uh, from a company out of Philadelphia. Uh, if you just uh, type in two dram vial on eBay, you'll find them. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you guys those, and I hope you enjoy. See you later.